everything about what you do. I don't even rap. So what is this? K-pop bitch, yeah. I'm already What's good with the Nash Potatoes? Welcome back to the channel, man. Is this a re-upload? No. I'll have been asking like, bruh, are these re-uploads for the Rate right, That Outfit series that I re-uploaded from a year ago? I uploaded six, I believe, of the older videos that started the series, and I wanted to drop those all on the same channel so that everybody can have them in a playlist that works. You know, they don't have to search anywhere extra. Starting off the new year with Jungkook being the first one, I actually did a poll. Let me go ahead and check this out real quick. I did a poll over on the community tab, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on so that you guys can participate in the polls whenever I do these so that you guys can pick and kind of like have a say in what videos coming next. Jungkook won with 39%. Then the last two days of me actually looking to see if I can find outfits from Jungkook. They did seem to have like the same type of thought process behind each outfits when it came to comforts all black and things that just work for him. You know what I'm saying? Didn't seem to be so fashion oriented like members like J-Hope, V, and RM. I asked you guys on Twitter within no, almost 24 hours ago. And I said, please send me fire airport outfits of Jungkook because I wanted to know which outfits you guys thought was his best outfits that he styled. And I have a couple here. I think I picked about eight or nine of them. So we're gonna go through that. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on them. Obviously this video is opinion based. You know what I'm saying? I'm not necessarily an expert in fashion. I don't own any clothing brands. I'm not an ambassador or anything for anybody you know what i'm saying so we're of course bound to have differing opinions but that's what the point of this video is i say my opinion you guys let me know yours down below and we can have a nice friendly discussion about it but Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on in. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to join Patreon if you want support it extra, you know what I'm saying? The way that we start this is we actually go on like K-pop profiles and we read a little bit of facts about the member or the person just in case people are new to them and they don't know much about them. I'm not new to Jungkook, but there are probably gonna be some facts that I don't know about. So let's go ahead and swing on into the K-profile. Jungkook was born September 1st in 97, born in Busan, South Korea. His family consists of his mom, dad, and older brother. Went to the School of Performing Arts and a global cyber university. I wonder if that's like just, just online school, just the biggest online school or something in Korea. It says that his favorite foods are anything with flour, so anything that has some bread on it. Favorite color is black, which is very obvious in these outfits that we're doing. He loves playing games, drawing, and soccer. Again, that's something that we know from any other other things. His hobbies include video editing, GCF. There is another one that I am gonna check out soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Photography, discovering new music, and making covers. He has a weird habit when he sniffles because because of his ren rhinitis? Rhinitis? What is, what is rhinitis? He likes the number one, ironic. <laughs> I was saying, said to be a very skilled cook, likes shoes and makeup, dislikes tasteless things bugs getting hurt all right knows taekwondo we already know that uh before joining the group he was a handball player okay his dream when he was young was to be a badminton player wow okay so in the first year of high school he listened to g-dragon's song and it changed his dream in high school isn't that crazy because he immediately got into a group right after that so it just shows how talented the guy is got his driving license in the run episode and he's a big fan of iron man we know that as well so honestly i think you know if you're a fan of bts or whatever and you watch some of the run episodes you do a little bit of digging then most of these facts you have came across them before like me i don't really look into people too too much i kind of just watch whatever contents there listen to the music and sometimes i'll look beyond but from just like watching a few of the bomb voyage episodes run episodes etc most of these facts i actually knew so it felt kind of weird let's go ahead and move on to the first outfit actually so a lot of people were like bruh on the other rate that outfit videos when you were finding outfits there were some that were sticking to a specific time frame again when i do these videos i kind of try to focus on whatever year the video was made in. As of now, it's 2020, so I'm not able to really search up outfits or I'll only have two days worth of outfits, so only like that performance at Times Square. But we're able to search 2019 on Google, and that's normally what I do. I normally type in BTS Jungkook Airport Fashion 2019, and then I'll just look through there. Now, obviously, some of the other ones I did mention, like their older fashion and kind of did like a recap from now or from then until now. But I don't think that really makes too much of a difference being that people's taste and their style do change over over time as they grow as well so it only makes sense to kind of just cover one year in time even then is a long time and there's a lot of style that can change and a lot of people recommended me to go to these pages like these closet pages but the only like issue that I have with these pages here is that they show like the price that people spend and I feel like it triggers something in people's minds like it'll be like oh my gosh look this very wealthy man is wearing $20 pants or a $20 shirt and then they'll like and it's also like oh my gosh look this very wealthy person is wearing something that's oh so expensive oh my god 
ah, like, and, and it's more so like the price being talked about rather than the look or the appearance of the outfit and how well it's put together. I normally don't really like looking at these type of pages where they ID the things that people are wearing. Um, and I also don't want anybody to be under the impression that they need to spend a lot of money to dress well if the person is a very, you know, like fashionable person. So that's why I don't really look at these and I probably won't look at them in the future. But just for people like bringing it up so much, I'm going to pick one of these outfits from here so that I can give you my opinion. And also most of the time they don't even have like the full outfit. It's like top up and it's super weird for me. But starting off, man, we got Jungkook in what looked to be originally some vintage Ralph Lauren like polo sport back in what? Like 2016, 2017, all that stuff was really popular, specifically like the messenger bags and stuff like that. I remember that, but he's wearing a windbreaker anorak for $2.99. I ain't gonna really talk about the price too much, but vintage stuff probably sells for about that much. You know, if you find like an old polo sport piece, you know, they, they go for that much. But this looks like it might be one of the newer pieces just based on the condition, the color. There's like no scuffs or anything like that. Maybe it was just a pristine condition vintage item. I don't know. He's off the full polo fit though, because he has polo sport on the pants. It says that they're a denim track pant, but they don't really look like they're denim. And of course he's wearing his Timberlands. You know, if you guys watched any of my other videos, you guys know my opinion on them. But I honestly think that the Timberlands look pretty cool here. It's interesting for him to put them with a, I guess like a more sportier outfit, you know, track pants, windbreaker. But I think that it still does work out. I still say that it works out pretty well. So I'm gonna give this a four out of five fire emojis. Moving on to the next one was honestly one of the most commented pictures in the thread that I asked for you guys' responses on. And this is one of his outfits wearing full black, some platform style boots, which I believe is from a South Korean brand. Uh, when I did a little bit of research, I think that these boots were from some Korean designer. I don't remember who it was, but I did go on the website. I didn't see them on the website, so they, they must have sold out because he was wearing them. But he's wearing some slim trousers with an overcoat that's also black. He's wearing like a charcoal turtleneck and a really really spacious backpack. Do you guys see how much stuff can go inside of that backpack right there? Oh, he's still rocking the tag on the boots. I remember people doing that with shoes. Maybe he just bought them when he was at the mall. Maybe he just like wearing it with a tag or just was taking them out for a test ride before he was, you know, gonna keep them for sure. I really like the look of the boots. I like the platform on the heel. That looks really cool. The zipper being in the front is kind of odd. I'm normally used to seeing zippers on the back of the boot or the side of the boot, but honestly, I think it kind of blends in with the eyelets just a bit more. I kind of feel like I can't comment too much whenever things are are monochrome like this. It's a pretty simple outfit. It flows together well. It's comfortable, I'm sure. Those boots look like they got a little bit of cushion in the insole. I think the only thing I would have done differently is had the pants over the boot a little bit rather than tucked inside of the boot and or wore a pair of trousers that were a little bit wider. I like the high profile of the boot and I like that he's showing them off, but I think the fact that they're tucked in, his pants are tucked in, it doesn't really look that great in my opinion. But with that being said, I'm going to give this outfit a four out of five fire emotion again because you know it's nothing wrong with it i think that the little cuff issue isn't really an issue it's more of a personal preference than anything else moving on we have two outfits here specifically the one on the right i've seen a couple times more than this other one so i'm going to talk about the one on the left versus the one on the right before i start so he has this rider jacket all leather with a flannel on under it the flannel looks to be a bit oversized because of the way that he pulled it out of the sleeves and then it's unbuttoned it's a little bit long got some ripped jeans you know what i'm saying and it looks like he also might be wearing boots. I don't think those are derbies. Yeah, those might be, those actually just might be the same boots. But there's a little bit of a heel in the back. So they might be the same boots as before. But he actually threw his jeans over the whole top. And, you know, in the bucket head off top. This actually looks pretty cool. I like the flannel. I feel like maybe a more fitted flannel or the flannel being up inside of the sleeves of the jacket would have looked a little bit better. And this also is going to be something that I'm going to note on in a later picture that he has up. Because the way that... The, the shirt was a little bit big under a more slim fitting jacket kind of looked a bit weird to me but honestly this is another four out of five fire emojis honestly it's just a personal preference thing on most of these things and then here is one of the outfits that actually has color in it like the the polo sport one he's wearing the balenciaga triple s split in half one of the more later iterations of the triple s with some blue striped denim joggers and a long sleeve graphic tee or you know simple logo tee on the chest <sighs> this outfit i'm gonna have to give three out of five fire emojis I really am a big fan of Triple S, though I am a bit off-put by the pant choice. 
Triple S is a very boxy sneaker. I don't like when people wear skinny jeans with Triple S because the silhouette difference of some skinny jeans and those really massive shoes kind of just don't look that great to me. I feel like wide trousers look the best when it comes to Triple S and, you know, wearing a bottom. And also the fact that they're joggers. Uh, I just, this one's a no. This one's a no, man. Uh, joggers cool if you want to be comfortable you want to go to the gym i know a lot of sneaker heads really like joggers because it shows their whole shoe but when it comes to a shoe being this big and then you have like this baggy tight you know this baggy tight pants over on the thigh and it tapers down super hard into a jogger cuff i don't think the silhouette really matches very well also the side stripe it seems like the thought process behind this outfit was half of my shoes gray so i'm gonna wear a gray top other half is black so i'm gonna just throw on a black face mask and my black backpack but i do feel like it kind of is a bit all over the place with me so, all right, so the one that's in the middle of these pictures actually was one that we talked about first so i'll be talking about the one on the left and then the one on the right so on the left we have a puffer jacket looks a little bit cropped in the body right above the waist super solid fit with some puma and that just based on how long that name is that might be puma and han jobenhaven it is oh it is yeah i might have butchered that name but han jobenhaven i'm gonna just say that that's how it is it was a dude that i bought some jeans from jeans were really cool they were like a dad fit pant and that's when i I started to look into the guy then he did like a collab with puma same thing goes here the cuffs on these pants don't really work well with me the shoe choice is a little bit different when it comes to jungkook i noticed that he'll he'll have some boots or he'll have some cool sneakers but the other times there'll be like some pretty interesting shoe choices he's wearing a puma top as well these look like see i don't know if these pants are cuffed at the bottom or if those have like a jogger look or did he pull a kanye and put his socks over his pants i'm not too sure with this one but i really like the top i like the active wear under the cropped you know puffer jacket that's pretty cool and the bucket hat's always cool but the bottom half of this fit i ain't feeling it i'm gonna give it a two out of five fire emoji moving on to the one on the right on the other hand this one's a very simple fit it reminds me of the things that i used to wear back when i was skateboarding a lot you know got a normal flannel plain tee sometimes people throw on a little bit of flair put a little graphic tee on it and then here again he's got some jogger pants Pants on but i really like the shoes i believe these are the june j sneakers i don't know which season they're from it might be season uh 19 it might be season 19 or spring summer 2019 but again i feel like without the jogger cuff this could have probably rated a bit higher i think that the outfit would have looked a bit better but i'm gonna give this one a four out of five because it might just be a comfort thing you know what i'm saying i feel like he really sticks to the things that he likes when it comes to the outfits that he chooses so it might just be he's a fan of joggers they keep him comfortable when he's on the airplane and that's his thing moving on to the next one actually it was one of the more fire outfits i feel like um these are a different boot but these ones look like they have like a top of a combat boot with the bottom having a platform i like the platform that he got going on I like that he has the laces on the back and actually that lace system looks very familiar or it just looks like it's laced up similar to a dior navigate boot i believe is the the model of that brand but cargo pants again he has them tucked in if i'm not mistaken those are also they might be joggers again or he just has them tucked in i don't like that he tucks in his pants to the boots a simple one or two cuff still showing off the whole 98 percent of the boot would look better to me the cargo vibe goes with the military vibe the combat style vibe of the boot but i feel like that platform kind of gives a different type of flavor a different type of aesthetic that regular combat boots don't give and then he has this like keychain might be off white keychain off the pocket following trend with 2019 being very very filled with sherpa based items you know fleece items you go to forever 21 you go to uniqlo you see a bunch of pieces that are either full sherpa like this or the inside is full sherpa lined super cozy super comfortable and uh, you also have pieces from like capital and stuff where they got full jogger pants with that material so if you want to like be completely ridiculous and out there you can have a pair of pants with sherpa on the outside i think that this is something i would see jen in as well you know like a just a really comfortable sherpa baggy you know what i'm saying cool fit five out of five stars moving on to the outfit that i was referring to earlier when i was talking about the shirt under the jacket this honestly is really cool like i like the jacket i like how slim it is on the body again he doesn't have any shirt coming out of the sleeves he has a nice simple jewelry keeping it minimal rider jacket bro is what's gonna speak for it honestly that's that's like the staple piece of this outfit and then he has a more casual pair of boots a pair of skinny jeans with one rip in them keeping a little bit you know a little bit street still casual kind of but the issue with this to me 
is how I guess big. I want to say that the the leather jacket is more fitting to his body, and the shirt might be like a size too big based on this image. I think because of the way that it's kind of ballooning out under. I'm gonna give this outfit a four out of five stars. The only thing that I would have done differently is either a tucked in the shirt or had a more slimmer fitting shirt so that the silhouette could be even throughout the whole outfit. Moving on to the next one, I think this is one of the older ones. I noticed in some of the older fashion he was a fan of Stussy. You know, so we got a Stussy raincoat or overcoat, some skinny jeans, cuff. Look, this is what I was talking about when I was referring to the way that you should cuff your jeans over boots. I don't know what type of boots these are, but they look like a pair of boots that RM probably has. So they could be Visvim, but they could also not be. I don't know. I like the boots. I like the cuffs. I like the pants that go with the boots. Cool. Overcoat. All right. It's interesting that he chose to tuck this in, but not tuck the other shirt in. I honestly could say this is a, a decent outfit. I give it three out of five. I probably wouldn't have tucked the shirt in. Second to last outfit I wanted to show you guys. Actually, this is the last outfit. I wanted to point this out because a lot of people wanted me to mention that he does wear these modern day hanboks. And uh, they told me that he has every one in every single color. I didn't even notice that it was a hanbok until I seen like the actual like item laid flat. They look very comfortable. I like the charcoal color that he's got going on here with the triple S. Again, the same ones that are split in the... No, these ones are split in the middle. He just has a couple pairs. You know, see, this is a pretty cool, simple fit. You know, all of his outfits seem to be more mon monochrome, comfortable and you know whatever works for him that's what he throws on and it seems like he's so comfortable with what he likes that he doesn't necessarily care to have to go out and i think that that's what's different with some of with him versus the other members or the other idols i guess that i've even seen and i've done these rate that outfits on you know they do something and even if it does follow a trend for a bit they try to switch up because they seem to be more fashion interested you know what i'm saying these fits honestly work for jungkook but I think that that's the difference is that you can see a bit more people going out of their way to dress differently than they did before. That being said, that is the end of this Rate That Outfit. Honestly, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new. And also, let me know your opinions on these outfits down below in order. If you have an opinion on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth outfit, put a number one and then say your opinion. Number two, say your opinion so that I can go down there and talk to you guys. We can have a conversation down below in the comment section. I'm about to be up out of here. Turn on post notifications or whatever, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.